222 day, we will talk about SHX and XLM because of the ties into IBM and some interesting timing with some on-chain evidence that relates back in to the UN in order to explain what might have actually been the cause of the $21 SHX price in December of 2021, which I will present at the end just because it happens to go in chronological order that way. Here is an interesting statement from Jed McCaleb of Stellar on the involvement in between Stellar and IBM. Obviously pretty exciting. We've, we've had lots of people approach us and, and mainly IBM about wanting to get on the WorldWire platform. Uh, you know, we're super excited to have that become live. He just said that IBM came to them, not what a lot of people think and say that Stellar approached IBM about working with IBM's form. And IBM connects into a lot of the companies and crypto assets in which I talk about often. And it's not because I am only interested in these quote unquote ISO 222 things. It's just because of the fintech payments and financial services for large enterprises and institutions, which are where I think the blockchain technology itself is predominantly headed towards. All of these things are extremely tied in to that entire industry. So we have connections into Quant, into XDC, Casper, HBAR, and of course, XRP, and XLM. Here is an article I had to pull up in the Wayback Machine from October of 2017, which was about IBM Worldwire before it even had a name, which was a partnership in between IBM, Stellar, and ClickX, which I will come back to here in just a second. And we of course know that Stronghold has a lot of direct ties into IBM as well. It is all over their site and it is on there now, still. And it is still talking about IBM Worldwire, even though IBM ply that it is not currently active. But I don't think that's because it does not exist anymore. I think it is because it evolved into being so integrated into the Stellar network itself that the Stellar consensus protocol and the Stellar network are now effectively IBM WorldWire. And again, on the Stronghold USD page, it is talking about how it is exclusively for IBM WorldWire participants. And in the Stronghold AMA, we did find out that, that Stronghold USD is not currently active either, which is a pretty interesting coincidence. Stronghold wants to provide a better financial infrastructure that would reach both the underbanked uh, population as, as well as cater for some of the larger organizations. One of the big problems is we've introduced a, a whole heap of new currencies that people don't know how to use, uh, they don't even know what they are. What Stronghold wants to do and is doing is taking existing currencies and making those as tokens on top of blockchain technologies. So what we are now able to do is move around these units of value as though they were another cryptocurrency, but they're actually stable. They're based on a traditional sovereign currency that everyone will understand already. Stronghold and IBM have been collaborating together on the Stronghold US dollar which is a stable coin that has been introduced into IBM's worldwide network. This particular technology is disruptive because it enables us to get payments to people in, in the middle of nowhere effectively in seconds, not hours or days as the case might be. So that's a game changer because it allows people to not have to hold their funds necessarily with the large financial institutions. So if you recall, I did a lot on APFII and how all of the connections there were pretty clearly putting together a picture that 
stellar is at least a very large part of what can be commonly referred to as the quantum financial system and with 2024 and 2025 having a lot of regulations coming and different kinds of real-time payment platforms coming online it just all is extremely coincidental again so apfii is the entity that i talked about that is involved with ibm stellar and clickx the ceo also has a lot of ties into swift and apfii was partially funded by a part of the un which has a ton of ties into stellar and xlm here on the apfii systems page it explains that they were creating a real-time payment network in the asian pacific area and if you click on the link right here it takes you to an account on stellar expert and if you check out the transaction activity it has tons of transactions that are sending thousands of xlm at a time and all of the transactions happened in between march 8th of 2021 and about january of 2022 and i had a hard time attempting to export all of that data but i was able to put together an estimate that it transacted about 5.4 billion dollars in that time frame and in december of 2021 which was towards the end of this pilot we had shx hit 21 dollars on the charts which here is that chart and if you begin to go back to december of 2021 all of a sudden we have this huge spike all of the way up to about 21 dollars and 68 cents and coincidentally ibm had a market cap of about 110 to 120 billion in 2021 which is shown here if we start in january of 2021 it was about 114 and until the end of 2021 it was just under 120. on december 14th of 2021 the market cap of ibm was about 114 billion dollars which is when we had the 21 dollar shx and if you compare the market cap of shx to that ibm market cap it's close to what actually happened on that chart so was that a coincidence well i did talk about this in the past but i didn't really have a lot of information at that time and i also talked about how the hx and ibm chart have had a pretty interesting correlation over about the past eight or nine months now and that is because ibm here in orange appears to move up before shx does so it happened about here and then we had shx pop up and then we had another run up here and then we had shx pop up again and here is the information i did not have in the past on december 14th of 2021 which was the exact same day of our $21 SHX. IBM and Samsung unveiled a semiconductor breakthrough that defies conventional design. So is that related to quantum technology, which we know that IBM is heavily involved in? And here on December 16th of 2021, HSBC and IBM successfully design and test an interoperable multi-ledger central bank digital currency with securities and foreign exchange settlement capability and that was talking about the successful test of an advanced token and digital wallet settlement capability so was that actually talking about ibm stellar and hx because 
December 14th and December 16th, we're almost at the end of the APFII pilot that was using XLM. And then we have in February of 2021, IBM cut its blockchain staff significantly. And in March of 2021, Stronghold posted openings for cloud-based positions, which all have extremely interesting timing with the $21 SHX, the end of the APFII pilot that worked with IBM Worldwire and XLM. And we have the technology and multi-ledger CBDC announcements here right as IBM WorldWire was publicly stated to not be important anymore. But it appears, in my opinion, as if that is because Stellar and XLM were able to accomplish what the IBM WorldWire platform set out to do. And SHX might just end up as a interoperable multi-ledger central bank digital currency.